What's up guys, we're back with another video. We got the One UI 4.1 update on the S20 FE, one of my favorite phones. Um, so let's go ahead and jump uh, into this. I've been running it and just to make sure as always with these videos, is the performance still smooth? And yes, the performance still smooth on here. I would say even a little bit smoother. There is something that I did on this phone as soon as I got the update. But as far as performance wise, uh, yes, the phone is still very much smooth on this One UI 4 update. Don't have any issues with performance or uh, battery life. So I just wanted to just make these videos uh, for you guys just to let you know, give you a heads up before you update. All right, so if you guys have not seen the features um, I did it for a ton of other phones, but as always, I'll go ahead and do them again for the people that, you know, maybe didn't click on the video because you don't have that specific phone or whatever. All right, so one of the first things you actually want to do here, and this is for the 6 gig model. Um, so you're going to go into settings, and then we're going to go into battery and device care. Click on memory. So the new thing with the... When you have 4.1 update is the RAM Plus. I immediately went ahead and switched that from the 4 that is on default to 6. So this will give you more RAM. It's basically your virtual memory. And um, it does use up, it will use up actual like memory. Um, so just do note that. But I thought this device needed it because this device, it doesn't do the best with multitasking. I put it against, you know, other devices. And for some reason, this device, you know, every time I use it, it just doesn't do that great. It'll kind of close things out. Now with this, you know, update, this has been very smooth. So I'm able to open games. I'm able to open a lot of stuff. And the phone is still pretty speedy and it keeps uh, more applications open, which I really like. So that is why this uh, feature is so great uh, with One UI 4.1. So all devices don't really need it. Like if you have a phone with 8, 12 gigs of RAM, you don't really need to turn the RAM Plus on. All right, so uh, the next feature, just go through these uh, real quick. I know you guys have probably seen them already. Hold your screen down. Smart widgets are here now. So you have three options here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Boom. Basically, it's widget stacking. So uh, the widget stacking like in iOS, basically. Google needs to implement this into their... Um, into the main version of Android. This is definitely something, it just cleans up Android so well, so you don't have widgets all over the place, right? You can you can have your widgets in one widget. Um, also, there's a few things that you can actually do here. If I hold it down, current widget settings, I can go ahead and, you know, mess with the intensity, turn that white, transparent, you know, I could give it a black background like that. Okay, then we can go ahead and put add to smart widget. I think this is my favorite thing here. So I can go ahead and add applications that I have installed on my phone. So if you want to put your Samsung browser here or whatever you want to put here, you know, that's in your widget settings, uh, you will be able uh, to do that no problem. So definitely check uh, that out. All right, so the next thing is your gallery and then we're gonna just go to a photo we want and we can actually add a portrait effect to it. So it'll give you that DSLR type of effect. So you just click the three dots, add portrait effect. And then boom, you can see my background got blurry. I can dial the intensity back however I want it to get the most blur effect. Put it all the way blurry. So I'm more of a focus in the shot now. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. You can see now that I got that blurry uh, effect there. So that's really nice. You can use it also on, you know, if you're taking pictures of, you know, inanimate objects and stuff like that. It gives that effect as well, too. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really cool feature that Samsung added here. And also, let's go ahead and show you guys the object eraser as well, too. So we'll go ahead and click the edit button. And then we'll click the three dots and you can see something called object eraser. Basically, this is essentially what we have on the Google photo. So let's say I wanted to remove these leaves from right here. So I'll just draw a circle around the leaves. Click erase. And then boom, it removes it from my shot. And that's actually pretty clean. So it actually did a pretty good job there. So we're going to go ahead and you can see before, after. So I think that's pretty cool. 
And lastly, of course, is your more sophisticated um, color palette here. So you guys can see it just gives you a better look at what things will look like. And it's essentially still the same from when you I4. So if I went ahead and changed this, basically it'll still match your wallpaper, your icons to the overall UI, which looks really cool and one of my favorite features of this uh, Android 12. So that's pretty much it. The device is still running like normal, still smooth, no hiccups for me, battery life is good, no issues at all. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.